Okay. Let's play Lost Winds Winter of the Melodias Part 14? Is it? I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be. Anyways. That novel that you're writing? Okay. Um. Yes. I'm gonna eat this. Well, Toku's gonna also be quite cold while he eats it. Hooray for glitches. Everyone loves them. Except when they screw you over. So yeah, in the last part we went into the bathhouse. Can I do anything with that? Evidently not. Evidently so. Right. Um. Um. I guess I wanted to do that then. So that's fun. Anyways, in the last part we found out that we have to go back and find Magdi again. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Hey, they meowed. All right. Bye bye. Ah. Uh, right. Oh. Move the control stick down to make Toku dive under the water. You mean like this? <laughs> like I just did. You silly goose. Anyways, so now I guess we do that. Oh. Don't think I wanted that to happen. Right, hang on. <sighs> right, okay, let's plan this. Let's keep this all in plan and everything. You have to go and get that ball, I expect, for no adequate reason. That seems to be my catchphrase for today, for no adequate reason. Right. You, Fire Globe. You may live, provided you don't bother me. Shoo, Glob, don't bother me. So, twist that back round. And he's... Tr ...world of demons and broccoli. No one would like to be there. Especially not the broccoli-hating demons. Broccoli-hating, um, antisocial demons, that is. I mean, the broccoli-hating, demon-liking demons might enjoy it, but, you know, if there are any demons that really don't like the company of other demons, then... and they also hate broccoli, then that's gonna be pretty bad for them. I mean, it's, I think it's gonna be pretty hard to find a demon that actually likes broccoli. Because everyone knows that demons are allergic to broccoli in or in every single case. There is no such thing as an anomaly when referring between demons and broccoli. So, I guess I don't want to do that because that's what I already did. Um. No, 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 we're going to want to get that ball, aren't we? to move to hold that switch down and such I expect frozen in time and space okay it's all it's working again that's good but apparently oh bollocks more audio problems are gonna happen in this part it seems because if my audio pro program freezes then it means it just doesn't record audio so there's going to be some audio blip and shit going on again. And I didn't even get to see what happened. So that doesn't exactly help. I don't mind telling you. So let's try jumping up here. Phew, made it. Ah, that's what's going to happen there. Right, that's apparently good. One can assume. Oh, but that means that there's going to be also more audio problems in the last part, isn't it? Because I don't seem to remember the video froze then. Oh, bloody hell. Stupid technology! Right. Oh, well, I can't find out what you do ever again, can I? Oh, you're going to open that door, aren't you? Yeah. So, I'm going to want to go back and get the ball again. 
so as I can pull of Hey! Don't beat me to death with your ways of holding this. Get in the Poyak! Okay, you don't. Right, come on, you. Right, you, Toku, you just get up there, Mr. S Mr. Orb. Yes, thank you. Yeesh. Right, now we can do that sort of shiz. Shields. Okay, we have five. Oh, I don't know what to keep open. Okay, five. Oh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'll just end it when it seems about appropriate. Um. Can't remember how many statues we've got in this area now. None. Didn't think we've got any, but well, there's the statue, so that's fantastic. Seriously, one more, and we're three quarters through the game. Holy crap! I don't like the giant globes; they're disgusting. Oh, he ate me! Come on, come on, come on, Fatso! Nah, I knew that would happen. Well, that was easy. Um, but is there anything in here? I guess not then. That's very, very lame. So... Get to tell me what to do then? No? Right. Fantastic. Um... Maybe make a cyclone here? Uh, somehow I don't think this is gonna work. Nope. Um, so what's here then? Oh! Ugh. Duh! I am so dumb sometimes. That wasted like a minute and a half, seriously, that's... That's just terrible. And I'm... I've still got a blocked nose. This exactly isn't going too well. Um... And yeah. So... Now we've got the seed. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna cyclone away! Right, then we're gonna go back to that patch of earth we saw. And we're gonna plant it. Then we're gonna have to find some ridiculous way of getting the water over to here, even though it's off screen. So. Hang on. Can we use slipstream to make the thing move, make the cloud move? Oh no, but we can move it in any direction, so that's close enough. Right, that's fantastic. Let's go. Um, so I think we've now looped back. Oh, we've moved to the Great Bridge base, but we went here at one point for some reason. Um, there seems to be a crystal thing up there. And there's a statue here, yay! And the other one's behind that gate, which we'll find out how to get to someday. Ooh, treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. Congratulations, you now have the Jumbrella Cape! Press the Z button while Toku is airborne to use the cape. Release the Z button to put the cape away again. Hooray, we got the cape back. Uh, it's not working. Hey, there we go. Right. Um. I wonder if we can use the cyclone in conjunction with the Jumbrella cape to get extra height. Guess we can. Um, do you want to make it winter for any reason? Oh, okay. We're gonna need to move the water from in there over to there, I think. Just because I saw an area where it seemed like it would be convenient. Like here? Yeah, I thought so. Um, and then down here. 
Uh, oh, well, I'm lost. Ah, but because we've got the Jumbrella Cape now, we can just fly back up here anytime. That's convenient. Um, anything down here? Nope. And just another path downwards. Okay. And the timer is almost out, so I'm going to stop this video here. And hopefully we won't have any audio problems next time. Um, this is Skullkid3. I'll see you then. Goodbye.